Hi, grade 10. Good day. I'm Ma'am Briones, your Ma'am Beten teacher, and I'm here now to share with you the lesson in health for quarter 1. Health quarter 1 lesson, components of consumer health, which are health informations, health products, and health services. Who are the consumers? We, the people who use and buy health services and products for themselves and for their families. Consumers' health is about making decisions and having clear and deeper understanding to make wise choices. That's why shopping or purchasing is not as easy as in this picture. Number one component of consumer health is health information. It refers to any concept, step, or advice that various sources give to aid the health status of an individual. Source of information may be from a flyer, food label, a doctor, email or sales representative, billboard, or social media. Number two component of consumer health is health product. It refers to foods, drugs, cosmetics, devices, biologicals, vaccines, and household or any hazardous substances. These are commonly purchased in the supermarkets hospitals, and pharmacies. The third component of consumer health is health services. These are usually offered by health care providers with their trained professional staffs, like surgical services, beauty parlor services, like haircut, medical laboratories, spa, like manicure and pedicure. Speaking of health providers, it refers to a trained professional who provides people with health care, while health services are offered by health service providers. And service providers are classified into three which are the health professionals, health facilities, and health insurances. Health professionals are those individuals who are licensed to practice medicine and other allied health programs and work in the medical profession. Examples are the doctor, nurse, nutritionist, and more to be discussed in this lesson. Okay, game tayo. Guess who? Students, get a paper and pen and simply write the letter of your answer. Okay. Number one, specialized in children's health care and treatment of diseases. A. Pediatrician. B. Dentist. C. Obstetrician. Go. And the correct answer is A, pediatrician. Number two, a physician specialized in the diagnosis and treatment of mental disorders. A, pediatrician. B, psychiatrist. C, cardiologist. Go. And the answer is B, psychiatrist. Number three, a physician specialized in caring women during pregnancy and childbirth. A. Obstetrician. B. Pediatrician. C. Geriatrician. Go. And the answer is A. Obstetrician. Number four. A physician specialized in diagnosis and treatment of eye diseases and disorders. A. Neurologist, 
B. Cardiologist. C. Ophthalmologist. Go. And the answer is letter C. Ophthalmologist. Number five. A physician specialized in the diagnosis and treatment of skin diseases. Letter A, dentist. Letter B, dermatologist. C, ophthalmologist. Go. And the answer is dermatologist. Letter B. And number six, a physician specialized in administering various anesthetics to assure the proper surgical procedures. A. Urologist B. Anesthesiologist C. Pulmonologist Go! And the answer is B. Anesthesiologist Congratulations everyone! How's your score? If you got a score of 5 to 6, continue watching this video lesson. But if you got a score of 0 to 4, try again to answer the game challenge until you get a score of 6. More health professionals to share, like cardiologists, specializes in diagnosis and treatment of the heart and blood vessels. An allergist specializes in diagnosing and treating body reactions resulting from usual sensitivity to food, medicine, dust, and other substances. We also have a pulmonologist specializes in diseases of the lungs and respiratory tract. Neurologist specializes in providing diagnosis and surgical treatment of diseases of the nervous system. Focusing on brain, we have the gastroenterologist specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases in the gastrointestinal system. And geriatrician specializes in caring elderly and treating diseases that affect them. Here are more. Surgeon specializes in performing surgical operation in treating diseases, injuries, and deformities. Urologist specializes in diseases and abnormalities of the gastro-urinary tract. The gynecologist specializes in the diseases in care of the female reproductive organ. Okay, let's move to the second health care provider, and that is health care facilities. These are the places or institutions that offer health care services. Examples are the hospitals, walk-in surgery center, health center, and extended health care facility. Like, for example, the Margarito Duabit Hospital and the Lakeview Hospital in Binangonan. It's our responsibility to be familiar of what facility is available in our community, especially the health center in your barangay. You must know the location and accessibility of your health center. Hospitals are institutions where people undergo medical diagnosis, care, and treatment. Hospitals are classified into two, general and specialty. General hospitals have complete medical, surgical, and maternal care facilities, while specialty handle a particular disease or condition or deal with specific type of patient. Another type of healthcare facilities is a walk-in surgery center. It is a facility that offers surgery without the patient being admitted in the hospital. 
Another facility is a health center. It is a facility that caters a specific population with various health needs. And letter D, extended health care facility. A facility that provides treatment, nursing care, and residential services to patients, often the elderly. Number three health provider is a health insurance. It is a financial agreement between an insurance company and an individual or group for a payment of health care cost, like Peel Health, Value Care, and more health cards provider. Okay, let us recall what are the three healthcare service providers. One, health professionals. Two, health facilities. And three, health insurances. Do you written works on your paper with your name, section, and subject? Start with your learning task number two on page 70, part one, true or false. Part two is a short essay for question one and two. Continue working with your learning task number four in a separate sheet of paper entitled Doctor, I am sick on pages 71 to 72. Quackery. This is a form of a health prod or scam and an advertisement that promotes sale of products and services that have not been scientifically proven safe and effective. Quackery is being operated by a quack. It refers to a person who dishonestly pretends to have medical skills or knowledge. Like of the promises that in two days, puputika. Here are the three major characteristics of quackery for us to be aware with. Number one, it is a big business. Two, it multiplies and spreads fast. It is progressive. Three, it is claimed that it is for incurable condition. For your performance task, entitled, What Makes You Beautiful? Learning task number five on page 73 of your module. Do part one about reflective questions, including your reason of not buying and your reason of buying the products. For part two, answer the short essay question one and two. Remember class that health is wealth. So it is very important for you to know where to listen. From reliable source of information, the health professionals or to quack the unreliable source of information. Thank you. Hope you will enjoy doing your task. Keep safe, everyone.